Ah, General. We've tracked everything you've requested for. Hmm, I see. How many units were sent? Well, three, my queen. And if you were wondering, they all checked the west side. I see. So every part of the west territory has been confirmed cleared? It's hard to say exactly. The west side is a very vast area. Well, if that's the case, send two more units with you and search completely. I do not want one square inch untouched. Yes, my queen. Can I assist with anything else? Yes. Cancel my meeting with the nobles. But my queen, you haven't talked to them in a very long time, and I don't think it's a good idea to let- They don't need to know. Those fools will just put us further back. Yes, of course, but each noble has sent out troops to each part of the area. And so far we've covered the west, and the north, and the south. What? I'm, I'm terribly sorry. But, are you sure you want to skip another- <sighs> They don't know what they're getting at. No. I will not skip this time. Very well. Then I'll make sure the west side is completely guarded. Yes, please do so. <sighs> the cursed animals. How dare they send their own search parties out without asking me first. This isn't good. My queen, is everything all right? I'm fine. There's been a change in schedule. All right. Well, good luck with your meeting. This is not good. Huh, look at that. You finally summoned me. Don't get too full of yourself. You know very well why I asked you here. <clears throat> Do I? I heard about the change in schedule. That's odd. Aren't things going well? Funny you should ask that. You're not my companion. We're rivals. My, my, Siren. You certainly have got tone. I wouldn't mock me if I were you. <laughs> if anything, I know very well what that would lead me to. <laughs> so why am I here? That couldn't possibly be the reason why you called me. As you currently know, you are the only person who knows what my situation is like. And of course, since you're also the fourth noble, that means a heavy burden's been placed on you. <laughs> don't call me that. I don't have any room for royal blood. Very well then. I need you to do me a favor. Well, would you look at that. The famous queen is finally turning down her barriers. Huh. <laughs> you must really need me. Please. I could do this all with my eyes closed. <laughs> so where is she? It's none of your concern. As of right now, I am protecting that crystal blood. Let no one find her. Oh please, you called me for that petty reason? What, you want me to kidnap her? Of course not. I just need you to tell me where their whereabouts are. Please, as a soul tracker, I know where everything- Now you finally know why I needed you. And please, your orders are simple. And you know what would happen if you failed. <sighs> Cruel as ever, I see. And quick as ever, I see too. Oh, but Siren! Don't you know what would happen to you if this got out to the public? I mean, my my. I would hate to be one of your subjects. And if they had known that you were working on it with me? Well. <laughs> well, it's still an awfully big risk. I don't know. Can't tell if I'll do it or not. Oh, Shatter. You'll do it all right. <laughs> Fine then, let me check up on Lexia. See, you've already caught on to the plan. I'm very worried about Lexia, as you may know. If you dare lay a claw on her or the crystal vampire, I'll have a lot of fun killing you. Ouch, what a threat. And you know I wouldn't stand a chance. Come on. Then I suggest you leave and get your job done. <laughs> you really are clever. You are a complete hypocrite. I've given your orders. Now don't fail me. In a few nights from now, I'll be waiting on the top balcony. I don't really have a choice, do I? I think you meant to say thank you. 
I'm the one that's keeping you alive after all. Huh, <laughs> barely. Well, I guess that's a mistake on your part, hmm? I guess I'll see to it. <sighs> Nothing can happen to her. Those greedy noble bastards. They don't know who they're talking to. <sighs> what am I going to do? This isn't right. Praga shouldn't be moving this fast. Oh, Luxia, what are you even saying? It's Kyra that you should be worried about. She's been unconscious for three days. Soon enough, she won't be able to survive without blood. So, great. Am I really making it that obvious that I'm worried about her? If by worry you mean waiting outside her bedroom door, then yes, I would have to agree. I know they're coming for her. You're right. It won't be long before they find us. So, what's your plan? <sighs> Probably something like I always do. Fight my way out and then run for it. You know, Sky. the more I think about it, we're not all that different. I mean, Bristle had to carry me for quite a long time because I passed out. And I mean, you know very well I turned out fine. But you guys are different. You aren't as blood crazy as vampires are. That's true. But we didn't always start out that way. You know, we were vampires once too, Bristle and I. Of course, we forged our thirst. And that's why we became demons. It's so hard. Hiding it. Keeping it all in. Well, when you say it like that, you make it sound so demonic. Honestly. But I am in agreement with you. Again. Yes. It was hard. It was one of the worst feelings that I've ever had. But even though we were enemies once, I don't want that to happen to you. It's not something I want you to go through. And with this path that you keep going down, it's very likely you'll turn into a demon. There'll be a time, Sky, where you'll have to feed. And you have to tell her. I will, believe me, but she's suffering right now. And the least I can do to help is to be there for her. I don't want to make things harder. Not now. Not ever. You know, she's fallen head over heels for you. I doubt that she'll ever distrust you. Thanks, Thorn. To be honest, you're a lot of help. Oh, very funny. Anyway, here, I wanted to give this to you. Hey, I remember this. Yeah, when I needed energy, you gave that to me. Yes, okay, but I gave this to you for a reason. You should have it. <laughs> In your condition? Hmm, can you guys speak any louder? Oh. Bristle, what good timing. I'm glad to see you're awake. Well, I sure am not. I don't really like being woken up at 6 a.m., thank you. Ha ha ha, very funny. It's more like 8 a.m. to you. Whatever, Prince Boy. I made my decision very clear. Yes, so clear, in fact, it's hurting my ears. Whatever, shouldn't you be checking in on your princess by now? Uh, oh, right. How is she? Well... I wouldn't blame her if she was waking up now. You guys are making an awful lot of noise. Wait, what? She's awake? <laughs> She's only stirring a little bit. But I would guess she would want to see you when she first wakes up. Well then, why don't you go check on her? Well, being honest, I'm glad to have you guys here. I'm glad everyone's alright. At least for now. Well, I just got word from the sixth progenitor. Sky and I heard as well. Apparently, they're after her. Sadly. Well, I'm just glad we all found each other. Being a happy family is something that I've always wanted. You know, Thorn, I remember the times that you and I used to travel together. Oh, as do I. I could never forget those times. And being completely honest, I'm happy for them. I really am. Me too. I'm happy you didn't die. I'm sure you would survive without me, though. Are you kidding? I would be lucky if I even spent an hour without you by my side. <laughs> we make a fine team. <laughs> I guess it's not a bad idea to check on them after all. Well, 
This is just some fancy lighting, isn't it? Ha ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha!